Welcome to episode 15 of our Kingdom Death playthrough. Pratsky and Matsky here, and we have decided to go up against Screaming Antelope level 2. And the reason for that is because in the last lantern year we got pottery. Pottery, yeah. And so if we kill a level 2 or higher Screaming Antelope, we will open up the... Barber Surgeon. Exactly. Which has awesome stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, it's... I mean, there's even a way of getting rid of uh, disorders and um, intracranial hemorrhage, which, I mean, pretty much in most of my, you know, um, Kingdom Death playthroughs, um, like in the first, first, and like, you know, the first two Lantern years, someone will get that and it's like, oh, well, that's a useless character now. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that we have any that are, have that issue currently, do no, we? No. Which is great. Yeah. But if we do, yeah, we got the possibility coming up here soon. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, I feel like this is a lesser stress fight, which is good and kind of needed here. So we're going to try to stock up on some acanthus, get some more dried acanthus on hand, especially for our two ageless characters and try to get some good resources out of this in general. And, um, yeah, just kind of see how it goes. Absolutely. All right. So for our lineup here. Um, in the red corner. <laughs> Just kidding. So we've got Yulia here, so she's pretty fresh. Uh, I've given her the spear proficiency to start working on because she has the lantern halberd, which is pretty exciting. She's got some good strength to work with, so this fight won't be a problem for her with strength. And here's her gear lineup, and there we go. So four accuracy, seven strength. I mean, that's just going to be... Uh, yeah, like impossible to miss almost. Yeah. Uh, we're also carrying the bone sickle with her. So we're going to uh, be trying to get some herb gathering action going on there. And then we got Kroger and he's got the twilight sword. So we're going to really try hard to get him a proficiency on this fight here. Hopefully that goes well because accuracy is nine to hit. But I'm also hoping you can get that claw head arrow that would be awesome. Into him. That would be that would be amazing. Um, he's got tumble and extra sense, and then uh, here's the grid. So he's got the leather armor set, and at least if he can get a hit off and a wound, then he's got a backup scrap sword to do some more actual better chance of getting some damage done. Yeah. All right. So over here, I've got the good old trusty Vala, oh, the yeah. uh, the one armed swordswoman. <laughs> um, she's got her full set of leather armor with the adventurer's sword um, I'm also a big fan of defense so you know shields monster grease and the dried acanthus just in case mm -hmm. and your courage is at oh courage is at 7 out of 9 so hopefully um, I would honestly love it if we got a if I somehow got a courage from this, and then if we drew scarification, I'd be like, I would throw everything that I have into just. <laughs> I'll take scarification and I'll roll that d6. Um, you know, because uh, yeah, I was looking at this. Uh, all the negative things that can happen on scarification. Okay, so she's gonna get blinded, uh, um, regardless. If you know, once she triggers the, uh, the see the truth, um, but it doesn't take effect if you're already blinded. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if I roll the, the head, you know, that doesn't matter. Um, if I roll the chest, I get the tough fighting art, which is awesome. Um, keep her alive a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, if I roll waste, destroy genitals, I mean, already destroy genitals because it's a <laughs> phoenix, uh, so who cares? Um, let's see, hands, I would get plus one luck. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Uh, and of course the feet, you know, on a six up, I would lose the movement, which that's crippling. Like that is terrible, but, um, you know, it's a 50% chance and that would be. What the feet is actually only a one in six chance. Uh, yeah, the feet is a one in six chance, but then after you roll the feet, there's a 50% chance of something bad happening. Oh, so well, does something bad happen only if you Only 50%, roll bad? only on a, on a six up you something bad happens okay so if you don't get a six up after you roll the feet then just kind of nothing nothing oh, yeah so okay well that's yeah um i've also got kier uh who's chugging along with that bow mastery um almost there 
Uh, it would be awesome if I could walk away with a ton of survival and then, you know, be able to, uh, you know, get get some nightmare training going. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, and then, of course, um, rawhide armor, bow. Um, I decided to take the harp out because, I mean, we don't really take a whole lot of bleeding um, from the antelope. That said, this might be the thing that we all regret. So we'll see yeah, it's the hunt. That's the scary part with the musical instrument. Yeah, yeah, the noisy. But we'll see. I think we'll that's see. Only, I think that's only come up once. Yeah, and we didn't have it, so I don't know. Maybe I'll never take the whiskey out again. <laughs> we'll see. Oh. Okay. Um, well, great. Well, that's our lineup. Yeah. And let's just dive right in. Oh yeah! Heck yeah! Um, but who should we have start? Who should we have start? Yeah, I kind of don't. I, it's like, actually, actually, um, <coughs> if we have your characters doing, or at least doing more of the screaming antelope mm -hmm. events, mm -hmm. then well, I think the noisy can happen no matter who's rolling on the hunt event table. So maybe that doesn't matter. Um. I don't care who starts. Okay, yeah. Do you have a care? Not really. Well, then let's just say uh, one, two, or two, four, six, eight. Okay, sure. Six. So, Kira's going to start. Okay. Devoured grounds. The stone face is littered with uh, the leavings of a ravenous passing beast. Half eaten. The campus plants are strewn everywhere. If any survivor has three up understanding, they may skip the next hunt space. Otherwise, roll a random hunt event. Mm. Um. So yeah, I've got two people who are maxed out on understanding. Yeah. So we can skip the next hunt space. I we kind of we might as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, because rolling on the table that's that's not fun yeah sometimes good things have happened like we yeah. get population boosts or like sword. Some gear adventure sword yeah but um that's a risk yeah so uh, i i'm yeah. fine i'm fine skipping yep so i think we yeah we go right to here yeah so uh oh so would would vala um yeah i think so okay Vomit pile. Ooh, okay. The survivors find the half-digested remains of their quarry's last meal. Each survivor may scavenge, gaining plus one courage, and roll on the table. Look at Baby, that. oh yeah! Look at that. And so it begins. And what's the worst thing that can happen? Uh, one through four. Sickening. Archive all consumable gear. Um, I would have to get rid of dry acanthus and the monster grease mm. um, if I roll crappy. But hopefully I don't roll crappy. Okay. Okay. And this is for Vala? This, this is for Vala. Okay. <sighs> oh, man. That sucks. It does suck. Okay. I'm going to do it on both of mine. Because they both have only one courage. Yeah. If I could somehow get an, an additional courage before we got to Overwhelming Darkness, that would be great. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Okay. This is for Yulia. Six. Um, six. You find something undigested and eat it. Gain plus one survival. Oh, she actually isn't topped off, so that's great. And the courage. Wait a second. Uh, did you get the two survival for departing for a camp? I sure didn't. Okay. I'll boost that up even more. I was at five. Our max is nine. Yeah. So that went up to six, and that brings it up to eight. Excellent. Which is great. Okay, so Kroger. Ten. The antelope is clearly sick, vomiting up pieces of itself. Gain plus one understanding and one random screaming antelope resource. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And here. Nice. nice. Uh, same? Same. I don't get any understanding because I'm maxed out. Um, but yeah. Got a pelt. Okay. What are you going to get? This is the one. Uh, beast steak. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Okay, so you triggered 
your courage, I believe, on Kira. I right? did. Uh, oh no, because he had gone to it uh-huh. and then lost a courage, um, so it does not trigger it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Because it was um, what had happened is uh, you know uh, Kira had apathy, and we went to the overwhelming darkness, and I rolled a thing where um, I can spend all my survival to save a survivor. Um, and if I don't, I lose one courage. Gotcha. And I was ap- apathetic, so I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. That worked out very well so far. Yeah. It's going well. All right. So we got a random. I don't like this not having my, my grease. Yeah, that kind of stinks. But now ah, we're going to be fine, right? 90. Light on the horizon. Okay. Sounds good. The survivors hear a screeching howl followed by a crash. They see an explosion of multicolored light on the horizon. Could that be a phoenix falling to the ground? The unnatural light illuminates the survivor's way. If at least one survivor is insane, they follow the light. You may re-roll the next result on the hunt event table. If all survivors are insane, which not, I think not all of us here is not insane. Oh, wow. Um, they turn away from the light walking into the darkness. Move the survivors two spaces back on the hunt board. We got lucky there, man. Regardless of what the survivors do, the light reaches the settlement. Add lights in the sky settlement event to the timeline next year. Sweet. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. Okay, so adding that now. Oh, man, this is the year where we max out Vala. Now, the thing that I'm not entirely sure about is since we're adding that event, do we also draw a random event? That's a good question. I think so. Okay. But... We'll, we'll look it up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that worked out phenomenally. Okay. Done. Moving on. Okay, here's where I want a courage, if it's even possible for my two. Oh, funny. I put the wrong dice in there. Okay, here we go. Come on. Be something good. 58. Oh, and it would be on uh, your next person. Yes. Please. Okay. Scent in the wind. A strong wind blows, bringing with it the scents of distant places and things. The event revealer rolls a d10. Oh, didn't it say that we could re-roll on the table? We could re-roll on the table. Um... I forgot about that. Um, so basically what is going to happen here is the monster catches your scent and moves one space closer. If the movement starts the showdown, the monster ambushes the survivors. So he would move here. Okay. Which is not so good for our herb gathering. Um, but it's also not dangerous. Okay. Yeah. That's true. Okay. What do you think? Well. So what were the other results on the table? Like, was it a generally good table? Uh, Yeah. Like, um, if we rolled a six plus, we could skip the next hunt space. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I would say we roll on the table no matter what. So, yeah. We'll... I'm okay keeping this. Okay. Which is interesting, though, because that brings up a, a question. Um, if I had rolled a 6+, plus, would we have skipped this? That's a good question. Yeah. That I don't know, because that would be quite interesting. Yeah. Because then we'd go here. Yeah. <clears throat> um. I'm okay. I'm okay with this result. It just stinks because we're going to do yeah. overwhelming darkness and then just go right to him. Yeah. I don't like that as much, but 
we'll keep it. Otherwise, people might complain that we're trying to make the game too easy for us or something. Okay, so then this goes on, and ugh, here we go. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna start? Uh sure. We'll go around the around yeah. the robin here. Okay. So Let's he's see. got courage. He has courage. Yeah. yeah. Path of the Brave. Ten. Ooh. You emerge from the darkness with a new perspective. Gain the leader fighting art. So what does that do? Uh, let's see. Whenever you encourage a survivor, they gain plus one speed token until the end of the round. Uh, once per hunt phase, you may inspire another survivor. They use your understanding and courage to resolve a hunt or story event. Uh, oh, so I could, I could inspire someone to use my courage for... Uh, yes. Which I just got this right now. Yeah. So... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Last man standing. Like, that's a... For sure. Yeah. If you're the last man standing, you are... Uh... Yeah. Wow, what good timing. Yeah. We really need the, uh, the Dark Ventus to show up so we can get rid of all all of these broken jaws <laughs> oh my goodness uh we need to keep skulls because it's either two bone or one skull to okay do that um i think the monster tooth dentures um you can uh it's a, a large flat tooth mm -hmm. um or like three bone or something we got a good chance of getting a large flat tooth here too yeah okay so Trying to think of who do, who do we want Kira to use that for? I'm kind of thinking Yulia almost. I I would do Yulia. Yeah. All right. While you're shuffling that, I'll go for Yulia. Who's going to be on Path, Path of the Brave? Brave? Five. A massive whale swims overhead. Your guts quiver with its booming circles. Cries, you vomit in fear, but keep a brave face. Gain us minus one evasion token. After this event, all other survivors gain plus one survival from your bold display. Oh, so minus evasion. It's not awesome. Okay. All right. And then... Vala will gain another after this event. So Vala's gonna walk the path of the brave. Come on. A one. Uh, is that the... So, oh yeah. You find a half-dead survivor covered in translucent moths. Ignore them, losing one courage, or spend all of your survival to save them, gaining a population. I... Okay. That's so, with Vala? That's with Vala. You don't want to lose the courage, do you? I don't want to lose the courage. Um, and it's not going to be bad. Like, I, I'm just going to play super defensive with her. Okay. Um, but, so I'm going to gain a survival, and then I'll gain another survival. So oh, yeah. I will come in with two. I don't know, I'll be careful with her. Okay. Oh, this is, like... We gain a population, at least. We gain a population. This feels like like all sorts of danger sensors are going off. It's like, I lost my evasion. I <laughs> lost my acanthus. Um, we're not going to get another one. Um, I've lost most of my survival. Um, oh, goodness. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, there we go. Up to 24 pop. And then I'm doing the Path of the Insane for Kroger. Eight. A, uh, a huge eye stares at you from the darkness. It scares you sane. Set your insanity to one and gain the post-traumatic stress disorder. Oh, no. Man. That's, that's not good for him. Yeah. Because I think that means he's going to... He's going to be available for... I mean, he had PTSD. Like, the reason we didn't take him out the last time yeah. is because he had PTSD. Yeah. Like, dude, he's just... Guy's got issues. Yeah. Um, set my insanity to one. Okay, got it. And then everybody gets plus survival. Uh, plus one survival, yeah. That gets Yulia up to max. Yeah. Okay. Cool, and then we get to him. Sad. Oh, sickle. I want to see what this would have been. Teething. Okay, yeah. Uh, there was nothing. Out of it. Okay. All right, let's do this. So we've got three Acanthus Plant Terrain cards, one Bug Spot, and two Random Terrain, okay. plus a Giant Stone Face from Cure. Yes. Okay, that's right. We start at the edges of the board. Canthus. What? And debris. Do I even have that many? Okay, we got debris. There's the acanthus. It's the most acanthus all I've ever seen out on the board at one time, I think. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this we set up adjacent. That actually goes in a very specific spot. Oh, no, the, the bug patch. Does. Oh, uh, oh, the debris is adjacent. Okay, yeah, bug patch goes right there. And then we get to set these, well, two of them, I guess we can put kind of wherever we want, I suppose. Okay. But the six go spread out in here. All right. Up to four away from him. All right. And then what's the... Uh... Um, restriction for Acanthus? Acanthus. Um, set up at least six spaces away from all other Acanthus plants. Okay. Okay. This is good. Okay. And what's for the stone face? Yeah. Um, at least five spaces away from all board edges. Okay. And you're going to gain plus two range and plus two accuracy. Oh, so good, man. Yeah. Especially for that arrow. Yeah. Okay. So what are we thinking, like... Right up there, or move closer up. Um, 
Well, you get to move five, and then you use an activation to get up and put yourself on any part of it. Okay. So you could even move it one space closer this way. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I forgot to pull out. He's got his diabolical and trample. We got a speed token. We got a damage token. He's got, what, uh, 10 toughness. And eight movement. And then Vala starts with. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, put our guys over on the edge there. So this is going to be uh, kind of in the way of people. So I think well, one, two, three, four, five. I'll move it over there just so it's a little bit more out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I'm not lined up. live with that i think yeah all right so monster is going to go first okay man i'm almost thinking mm -hmm. one yeah. more this way because then if you do ever end up getting to the edge one two three four well yeah you got plenty of time to get there because what if he ends up spending time over here yeah you don't want to be too far out yeah okay let's do this okay. so vol is starting us off yep there you go Back kick um, and blind spot in range, closest threat in range. No target, graze. Okay. So he's going to graze. So graze uh, is it the closest? Um, let's just make extra sure. Closest to Canthus. Okay. So it should be this. Yeah. So I think he can just stay there. Uh, does he move on top of it or? Uh, no, I think it's just. Moves to the closest to Canthus plant. Okay. And that's gone. And then, well, actually, he was here, right? Mm -hmm. So let's have him not turn because there was no need to turn. Okay. And then he's going to diabolical. Okay. So uh, then he'll get run. down towards us. Okay. So what he just runs that? directly to us, right? Yeah. Uh, his movement's eight. Eight. There we go. My giant stone face does not benefit the arrow, right? Uh, I don't think so. Well, it's just, well that's a good point. Um, ranged weapons. Excellent. So, okay. Since it uses the bow, which has ranged. So yeah. Spin my action because okay, so I'll get it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, should range. I go in the corner or get a little closer? I think. Just, yeah. Start. Start there. I think they'll probably be alright. Okay. Um, I will need to surge in order to. Um, Fire my arrow, but that's absolutely the right call. Um, because I had to spend an action to climb up. Yes. So. Yeah, you don't have to deal with cumbersome on this one. Okay. Yeah. So wait, what are you doing right now? I'm about to fire the claw head arrow. Uh, oh, that's right. It's on cure. Okay. Yeah. So I've got plus one, plus three. I'm hitting on a three. Okay. Come on, dude. Yes. Okay. 
giant mouth. Um, if attacking with a melee weapon and the wound roll for this location is one or two, the monster consumes the weapon. Perfect. Okay, so your strength is uh, four. Oh my ten. gosh! Yeah, okay. two. Oh, oh hi, right, what's up? Gain one screaming antelope resource. Yes. The bladder. Uh, persistent in injury. Vomit blood. Whenever the monster collides with a the survivor, they are drenched in blood and gain 1d10 insanity. Remember, you don't want to have 20 or more. No, you do not. So we still want to avoid that big time. Yeah. Okay. That's like a bad result. Yeah. So persistent with that Yuck. Okay. Yeah, it's up here. Well, okay. I mean, it's like Kier has two. I could get run over. That's not so bad with Kier. Yeah, I could get like run over once or twice. I well, I don't want to get run over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you want to roll to see if you don't spend your oh. survival? Yeah. I do five. That's fine. Okay, that was good. Monster has minus one. Evasion. Evasion now. It's, okay. That's a solid turn. Making it easier for the Twilight Sword. Only need an eight or higher. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, who would like to go? I want to go with the Twilight Sword. You want to go with the Twilight Since Sword? Since I can get right behind him. Okay. And make it a seven or higher. Okay, so you move. Yep. You have to spend your... Uh, well, you got to dash in order to... Um, because it's cumbersome. <gasps> it is cumbersome. Crap. Yeah. That that's even worse. Yeah. Okay. I then, mean, I'd still do it. Then yes. Oh yeah. Because that's the thing. You just need to hit him once. Oh yeah. Because yeah, you hit him and then you're gonna win him. Like. Okay. So eight or higher. Ugh. Uh, seven or higher. Seven. Yeah. Oh, sweet. That's a ten. Oh, the zone of death. And there's no way to crit out of this one. Yeah. That's all right. He's got some decent armor. We just need the, <coughs> this wound. So, yep, yeah, it's on a two or higher. Okay, so we got a wound. And now you don't have to try and hit him ever again. Yeah, I'm so happy about that. Oh, yeah. I, I need a couple of tracker tokens there. Okay, but he's going to do a basic action on me. Okay. So he's going to roll two and hit him two plus. And Kroger's got evasion of just one, two, three. Okay. So three, so five or higher. One hit for just one damage. Oh, that's yeah, on me. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, to the hand. Uh, two damage because plus one. Oh, damage. you're right. Thank uh, you. Oh, did you also roll oh, with the extra speed? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh. Four. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Two damage to the hand. To the arms, I should say. Okay. That... And then remember, you have your little move thing. I also have that, don't I? Yeah. So I will go right there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, yeah. What happened? Oh yeah, it's right there. Never mind. Okay. So yeah, we kind of we do need to plan this out as we attack him because he's gonna do an AI card yep. and then trample. Yep. So. Should I get behind him? Sure. So, five, four. Hitting on a four plus? I'm hitting on a four plus. Okay. You'd be hitting on a two. And then wounding on a two. Yeah, oh good insane. So three hits. Wow. No trap. Okay. 
No trap. No trap. Yes. Okay. So this is safe. That's safe. Um, and then that's okay. Okay, so you're going for the muzzle first? I'm going to be going for the muzzle. Okay. Or right, hold on. Monsters knocked down. Persis is ruined. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll go for the muzzle first. All right. And you need a two uh, or higher? I need a two or higher. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Excellent. Minus two toughness to win this location. Doesn't mm. matter. <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. The wound. Gain one insanity. Excellent. Wow. Okay. And then I can skedaddle. Um, I think I almost need to. How do we. Okay. How do we position? So that he, let's see, do I move this way or do I move that way? I don't know that you can. Well, no, because uh, you don't have the Oh, dang, that sucks. Yeah, okay. so he lost the monster grease, which gave his leather boots the affinity needed to move one space after. Oh, God, okay. Um, so I can have that foot. Okay. Gross. So I think <coughs> I might just move to the corner of him. Yes, because I've got reach two with the halberd. And since I'm hitting on threes and up anyway, might as well just play it safe. Yeah. Be a little bit more spread out. All right. Let's do this. A four and a ten. Okay, no trap. Okay, so we'll go for the furry throat first because there's nothing bad for reactions. And it's got seven strength, so yeah, I'm wounding on a two plus. And two, well, yeah, two straight up. Okay. Tis a wound. And then for the restless hoof, hoof, hoof. A wound. So we all on the first round here got our proficiency. We could, well, except for Kier, we could all surge. Well, oh, no. I forgot about the surge action. How many Why wounds? not? How many wounds is he? Well, I got the two. Oh, yeah. I. I well, think and I'm then, not. And do we want to mm -hmm. try to uh, to get this acanthus as well? I mean, it'd be nice. It'd be real nice. But... We've got one in the storage. We've got two dried acanthus on our characters. And plus, it's just nice to have resources because, um, you know, like anything that would destroy, like destroy 1d5 resources. It's like, oh, we've got, you know, oh, we've got eight acanthus. Mm-hmm. Oh no, yeah. who cares? Um, Let's see, the debris could potentially give us a random basic or a scrap sword or a bone blade. I mean, it kind of doesn't seem worth it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll try for like one or two acanthus. Okay, so with Yulia, who just went, I can, with the lantern halberd, move up to two spaces directly away from the monster. So I could go either way. So I could move two spaces that way, surge, and get that acanthus. Do you want to do that? I've got tons of survival. Okay. Sure. And I might even not even spend it here. I did spend it. Okay, so. Uh, you're rolling two. Oh. 2d10, all right, that's great. 
So a total of nine, that is a fresh acanthus. Okay. And archive that terrain. Honestly. Well, we should probably try and harvest, you know. Like it just seems wasteful to not. Yeah. Well, how many fresh acanthus are there? Because I, I know, know there's a there is a limit, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, so we got one, two, three left. Three left. Okay. Yep. I'd be okay going for that and then just. Especially with Yulia. Even though she has the halberd, it's mm -hmm. sort of like, well, I think yeah. we're still going to do okay yeah. with everybody else. So maybe on the next turn, I'll just book it down here and start collecting. Yeah. Okay. Um... All right. So moving on. Actually, did I ever. Control the monster with Yulia? No. You started. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's see what he's got. Slam. Closest knockdown survivor. Nobody. Uh, furthest threat in field of view in range. So that would be Kier up on the stone face there. Okay. So let's move him on up. Three. We'd want to I think it's equal whether you do it here or here. Yeah. Do I want to dash? Probably. Um, hmm. Because I could escape him. Because, I mean, he's got eight movement, but. It's actually, yeah, it's, I mean, it, it's a good point. You could, uh, you could kind of come up here somewhere yeah. and be out of his range. Yeah. And chances are he'd, he'd move up and then have to just run this way or run that way. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I'll dash. Okay. Excellent. And not. Yeah. So, one, two. Sure. Where would I position him? Well, um, okay, so it'd have to be along here, and then he wouldn't have anybody to charge. Or, yeah, I could position. Yeah, if you move him up one, uh, like yep. this way. So one, and then. Because he would be. Two, do another one, and then three, four. Yeah. Okay. And then that was a good dash. Then he tries to attack and does nothing. Um, should I leave him facing straight forward or turn him? <sighs> That's because he'd be one, two, turn. One, two, forward. Do we want him running that way or that way? I think either are okay. Um, if he's here, you can definitely get up. I mean, you might still be able to do it here too, but if he is that way, I well, I'm rerolling hit anyway. Yeah, you could just stand there and shoot. Yeah, your call, because you're the one mainly having to deal with him right now. I'll I'll spend because I want to be careful with Vala. So, yeah, I'll just spend survival and get back up on the thing and then shoot. Okay. Uh, actually, that's yeah. a loss. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's, that's okay. 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 So then he moves to the edge of the board. Because that's less than his movement, and his turn is over. Excellent. All right. So. Now it's up to us. It's not quite enough. So I think I'd have to dash over to here or something. And then you yeah. collect. Okay. So first I'm gonna act with her just okay. Like, okay, so one, two, three, four. And then Well, do you want us just stay there and shoot? Um because you'll be hitting on a 
six plus? Uh, five plus, because you've got an extra, you've got a permanent accuracy. Yeah, free rolling. With the re-roll. So, yeah. I mean, totally your call. Yeah. But that gives you more survival to hold on to. Yeah. For turning into nightmare training. I'll do that, yeah. Okay, so fives. Look at that. Oh, combo master. Even better. Okay. Oh, wailing slide. Oh, it's a trap. That Which might not be bad at do all, actually. Anything. Okay, so what does it do again? Okay. And it, and it was the first one that I pulled. So Really? Yeah. Excellent. Um, the screaming antelope panics. Its undermouth unleashes an inhuman wail. It bucks wildly. The attacker is doomed. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer so two brain damage per monster level, knock back five, and are knocked down. Monster lands on its belly and begins to slide on its teeth. Turn the monster directly away from the attacker. Full move forward in a straight line. On collision, non deaf survivors gain one random disorder and collision rules. So, so I think, yep. And then. Okay. All right. And man, we got lucky there. Reshuffle. Uh, do we also reshuffle the AI? This one? Uh, or do we reshuffle the AI deck or just hit location? No, locations? just hit location. Okay. So he hasn't collided with anybody. He didn't have to vomit blood, which is great. Okay, so while you're doing that, I think I might, um, yeah, take the opportunity to go one, two, three, four, five, and then dash one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to, so that was a dash. Okay. Um, so I've got to see if I spend it. Nope. And then I'm going to try to collect the acanthus. Yep. Okay. And it's just one not a... Uh, because isn't there one result that gives you a bunch? Or extra? or No. Ah, okay. No, it's just eight plus you get one strain or one fresh acanthus. Okay, cool. Okay, so we've got two more to get. Yep. Okay, that's him. You've gone, so now it's these two. Just moving up. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I think he'll try to get here with Grays, but I don't know if he can. Oh, he'll get there. It'll buy us a, probably a round. Yeah, he'll heal one, but the, the, I mean, at the rate in which we're able to just slice him to bits, kind of. Who cares? Doesn't matter too much. So yeah. It's either that or now we can't even probably get to him with a dash. One, two, three, four, five. One. Uh -huh. Oh, we could actually both get there yeah. and beat on him, but then we're separated. Yeah. We're separated and then um, yeah, he'll run us down. Okay. So. <clears throat> so we'll move out. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So then goes to Kroger. Let's see what we got. Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, yeah. Someone can look. Um, Yulia has already gone, so she can't use the headband. And you already went, yep. so we can't, actually. Okay. Chow down. If there's no Acanthus plants on the oh. showdown board, discard. Full move screening antelope to the closest Acanthus plant. If he ends his movement on or adjacent, it consumes it. Archive the terrain and perform a healed 1d5. Yeah. That was the one that we didn't want. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so a d5. Oh, Aye. nice. So he just heals one. 
and then this goes back on top, right? I believe so. Yep. Now, he can get here on the next turn, right? Yeah. Okay. And actually... Does he uh, do something else? I'm just wondering if it says for him to end his oh. turn or if he's going to diabolical. Yeah, I think he diabolicals. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. say... Yeah, because it's just at the end of the turn. Yeah, because sometimes a card will say end, mo like end monster, end turn or whatever like that. And then in that case, I don't think you would do oh. diabolical. It says at the end of the monster's turn. So, oh, so maybe you always do Diabolical. Yeah, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought I had seen something like that where it said, if the card specifically says end its turn, mm -hmm. then this would not trigger. Okay. But I don't know. YouTube land, what do you think? Um, is that even a possibility? I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Well, now we can't get to that. He's going to try. So we can kind of position ourselves in a way yeah. where we can take advantage of that. So how close can he get to this? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you just want to be... Oh, he is going to Diabolical, though. Yeah. We can have him go that way. Yeah. As long as there's nobody in this track here. Whoa. Yeah. In, this, in this corridor. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah, he'll just run that way. Okay. Okay. Um would you like to move over here and get that acanthus? Yeah, I do. Okay. One, two, three, four. And let's see what we can get. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is just one more to get. Excellent. And that's gone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's her turn. So. Let's see. Awesome. Yeah, and this guy's got to get out of this lane. Yeah. So, okay. And then Twilight. Do we have him go for the bug patch? Sure. Ooh, no. Oh. Because if we roll a one, he'll suffer three brain damage, and I've only got one insanity. Okay. That would be bad. Yeah, that's fine. So I will not do that. But, um, man, I hate to be clumped. Well, it'll be fine. Right? Well, he'll go next. Yeah, I guess he'll try to go here. Then he'll Diabolical up. Yeah. Uh, which but one actually, is this, is the, this the closest now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ooh. So this is the closest now. So oh, we... in that case, I want to go like one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's going to go and then charge that way, right? Uh -huh. Well, no, because we'd, we're on his, we're in, we're in his T-junction path. Ooh. Hold on. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can. S s ah, crap, here. Um. Let's see. I was here. Target random scroll. We didn't think about that one. We did not. Dang. Let's see. Uh, target a random survivor in the trample zone. Full move the target. Full move the target. 
full move through the target. Oh, okay. I could outrun it. Could you? Uh, yeah, because it, it's full move. Okay. Right? Yeah. So yeah. I so that just... would be that would be her. Yeah, I could just. And you could just dash and. Or and no, we... well, I, I, he's because he's gonna play. Um, you know, he's gonna try to eat something. I think I can dash, and there, and then he'll just move that way. Okay, so where for sure is he going to move? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he'd end here. Um, because for chow down, I, I'm pretty sure that I can dash. Um, um well, it, even if you get targeted, you yeah. can dash before he moves. Yeah. Um, um, and then I I could escape. So um, if I don't get targeted because I dash during the you know chow down, yeah, he'll move that way. Okay. Um, which I'm pretty sure. It, and if not, he'll just he'll run that way and try to chase me. Okay, I think <coughs> I think we're gonna be good here. Yeah. Okay, so we're done. Miscalculation. Yeah, no kidding. Kira's got monster controller. And chow down it is. Yes, we got two opportunities here. Okay. So we can have him move. And then you can dash before we put this back okay. at the end of his turn. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just, I'll just do it now. Okay. 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 Now he. And this goes back on top. Dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right. Okay. We just need to make sure to get one wound and then it's gone. Yep. Okay. Um, here goes. Sure. Shoot him up. Hitting on fives. That's awesome. Rerolling. <laughs> All right. Get that wound. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you're adjacent to the monster. Okay. Wow, yeah, man. Fine. There's all these evens. Five. Okay. So, yeah, doesn't matter. So you're going for the... Screaming Lava Chief. Monster Gains Swing Archive this card. Going for the palette first? Yeah, I'll go for the palette. Okay. Crush it. Yeah. Um, so what am I... I think it's... So three, four. So uh, uh, three and then plus four, so seven. So I'm moving on threes. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So chow down is gone. And then minus two toughness to wound this. Um, so twos. Okay. Okay. Wow. And then the wound result is even, so for one brain damage. All right. Um... Part of me thinks, like, why not just go up behind him and hit him with the scrap sword of Kroger? Yeah. Any, uh, that's fine. Two, three, four, five. Okay, scrap sword. Five, and then a four, and then a three because I'm in the blind spot. <laughs> oh my gosh. A two and a one. I'm going to surge. And not spend at the survival. Uh, one three. So uh, four so three. three. It does. It does work. Okay. Yep. A four and a three works. Oh. Okay. So all survivor or we got the wailing slide. 
All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer two brain damage per monster, knock back five, and are knocked down. Oh. So I'm actually taking a light injury on the brain. Not uh, two per monster level. <gasps> really? Mm hmm. That's a severe injury roll. That is a severe injury roll. Oh, gosh. Really? <laughs> oh, man. I could be dead, man. Eight. Eight, that's... Uh, lunacy. Gain a random disorder and 1d5 insanity. Okay. He's already got PTSD. Yeah. Go for double PTSD. Wouldn't that be awesome? Quixotic or immortal. Yeah, quixotic. Alright. Anxiety. At the start of each showdown, gain a priority token unless you have stinky gear in your gear grid. Which, Monster Grease is stinky. So it's not that bad. Oh. Okay. Oh, nice. We got some rain outside. Hey, that's fantastic. Anxiety. Um, priority on the stinky. Okay, that's not terrible. No. Okay, so we got that, and then I get 1d5 insanity. So let's roll high. Five, so one, two, three, four. I got three. All right. And the monster lands on its belly and begins to slide on its teeth, turn the monster directly away from the attacker, and full move in a straight line. So he's going to just go boop. Okay, that could have been so much worse than it turned out to be. Yeah. Uh, while you're shuffling there, I think I might... Six. He's going to probably try to go here and heal if he can't get to any of us. Which he can't. Um, so... We don't really want to allow him to do that because, well, we should get her up. Yeah. Who can uh, volunteer broken jaws? Uh, Yulia does not have a broken jaw. Okay. So she could encourage. <coughs> so I will do that and spend it. So Yulia is down to seven survival and encourages. Kroger and Kroger may have to dash. Yeah. So with Yulia, though, I'd like to get another one more Acanthus. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, maybe just get this one here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, 19. There should be something amazing for that. Okay, got all of them that we can get. Yeah. And then I believe Vala still can go. Uh, Vala arrowed. Vala? Cure uh, arrowed. Yeah, yeah, cure arrowed. Sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> get my uh, my people mixed up. All right. So, Wait, where's he gonna? So he's probably gonna go eat this. Okay, so he'll end here, um, and then probably dash forward. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I should dash now with Kroger. Because otherwise I think he's going to go here and try to heal one. Well, he'll, he'll go uh, here. He'll just move straight. Either way, I'm still yeah. in this line. Yeah. Um, uh, 
because you'd be able to get away. Yeah. Um, so it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll just... And and that's another thing. Now, now I'm questioning a little bit is, can you just choose to dash when it's not your turn if there's nothing going on currently? Well, yeah, it's a survival action. I think so, right? From my understanding of survival actions, you, you get to... You can just use that, you know... You're like interrupting. It's like, okay, I'm spending a thing to do this thing. Since I'm going to have to anyway, I might as well do it now. Yeah. And not have to worry about it. So, yeah. Kroger will... So he's going to go here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, crap. What was he? So I just seem to be like here. Yeah. Well, if you came up here, when he dashes forward, you'll be closer. If you... Like stepped over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But he's gonna be like here. Oh. Okay. So yeah. That's true. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. right. I'm feeling good. So over to Vala. Right? Did Vala have Monster it? controller? Yeah. Yeah. I've not rolled any dice. Crush and devour. Closest threat and field of view in range. Nothing in range. Closest survivor in range. Okay. No target. Graze. Alright. So Gobble up go sucks. There. And then he'll graze, which I think is just one, right? It's not, a, yeah, it's just one. So we got one that's gone. And then he will diabolical. Right where we want him. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, who first? Well, I would say Vala. Bring Vala on in there or something and just well, destroy Fest. Because she's going to be stuck there. And I don't have a ton of survival to dodge and dash out of the oh, way i see so i would i would say she goes a little closer to lap you know in case he it's like oh yeah i attack everyone that's you know adjacent to me okay so that's cool i can get i can get to the corner with the mm -hmm. lantern halberd yeah and then you'll be able to back away yep okay so um maybe i'll do that first All right, Lantern Halberd, rolling two, hitting on three plus. There we go. Okay, Gnarled Horns and Restless Back. This failure one, um, if attacker is adjacent to the monster, their weapon is stuck. Okay. So I'm not. Yeah. So either way, they're both fine. So we'll just go with Restless Back first. Twos, baby. Twos. Sweet. Okay. Okay, so that's a wound. And gnarled horns. I failed. But yeah, I'm not mind. adjacent. So that is okay. Want to surge? Yep. Sure do. Let's see if I spend it. I do. Okay, down to six. All right, let's try that again. Two hits. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, but you aren't adjacent. That's true. All survivors adjacent to the monster suffer two brain damage. Okay. So then he lands on his belly and, and turns away. So, so he can be have an option. either way. Yeah. Um, so if he goes this way, she can pick him, pick at him. Can she though? Well, yeah, because she moves up, gets on, and then I'd have to, you know, dash and surge, if she... but I get eight range. Do you want to do that, though, with your survival for nightmare training? That's true. And he's not really scaring us anyway. No. Like, who cares? Um, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Just like, okay, cool. We'll just all kind of back off a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually more fine, I think, with him going that way, because if he goes this way... Yeah. You're in... Well, you can move. Yeah. 
kind of doesn't matter too much. Yeah, it's, I think it's okay to just have him go forward. All right, I'm going to take my two movement with my halberd. Um, <coughs> one, two, or two. I'll go there. Okay. Um, so those are done. And then I think we want to get the rest of the guys out of his attack range. Yeah. Do you want to shuffle this? Sure, this? Yeah, oh, yeah. You've been trapping it up, haven't you? Like, not like it really does it well. It only did something. We've drawn the trap three times, I think. It's only done something once. Yeah. Watch, it's on top. Try that. Okay, so with this guy, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then what do you want to do? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So if I would need to like, be like right here, because then he'll Okay, so he'll, no, well, he'll either dash that way, or he'll dash that way. Ooh, yeah, come up here and have him dash that way. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Okay. Okay. And then... Since she didn't shoot anything, did she? She did not. You want to use the headband? Just I'll to make sure. Headband. Ram, furthest threat in range, which is nobody. Furthest survivor, oh, furthest survivor, no range. Okay, so furthest threat and then furthest survivor. Okay, what's the other one? Um, let's see, gore, full move in the direction the monster is facing and turn to face closest survivor. Um, is this... Hmm? Both of these, I, I don't know if there, there's a range. Because, okay, furthest threat in range. And then furthest survivor. And then move and attack. Does that mean he moves until he hits somebody? Uh, no, because he's maxed out by his limit. Okay. Um, so furthest threat in range for the su survivor. So okay. the survivor oh, would be. So a threat is, okay. Um. Okay, so he would just, from what I would understand, he'd just move towards the furthest survivor, which would be... Yep. Okay. And I could also manipulate that by, uh, you know, with uh, Kier and, like, taking off in a direction and moving. You could, yeah. Um, um, I, I, was, I mean, I would say this one. Okay. Yeah. Because it's kind of weird, the full move in the direction that he's facing. Does that mean that he'd have to go off to one side or the other? Yeah. Which, I mean, we could, because uh, right now, you know, I don't want to get up on here because, you know, if I get up here, trample, if I get closer, he'll, like, oh, I'm now the closest person. Yeah. Um, so maybe having him set up over here and then, like, do some stuff over here isn't a bad thing because then I can get here up on the rock. Well, I think with the ram, he's going to, he's going to move this way towards you. Uh, you. Oh, that's me, yep. yeah. And then he's going to either go that way or that way with Diabolical. Okay. I don't think there's any way to keep him over there okay, that yeah, I'm aware that's, of. That's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, so Monster Controller passes to Yulia. And then we've got this. All right, so... Uh, ooh, I should move real quick. Because I headband. Okay. So... Um. That way or that way? Well, you if you go that way, you're at risk of him. Well, no, no. Uh, which way do we want him to run? Oh, um, well, where is he gonna? Where is he gonna end up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he'll end up here. So and it's like right at a diagonal, so it could be either way. Yeah. Let's have him go that way. Let's have him go that way. Yep. Okay. <laughs> all right 
So, do the move. Eight. And then diabolical. Nine, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Let's do it. I'll attack with cure. Okay. All right. I think that's up. I get to reroll. Needed fives, okay. Come on. Oh, all right. Furry tail and delicate inverted knee. Who cares? Okay, go for the tail first. Yeah, okay. All right, come on. We haven't been farming this guy from resources much yet. I think we've got three of his. Uh, yes, that's a wound, because I need threes. Okay. And the inverted knee. Ten. Oh! Uh, let's see. Balance is ruined. When the monster starts its movement, roll a d10. On the result of a one, the screaming antelope is knocked down. Okay. <coughs> did I? I don't think I did. Okay. Sweet. Too bad it's not a resource. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, it's not like we're really hurting for resources right now. No, but I yeah, just I, like it's, them. It's still nice. Yeah. I like them. It's like, so yes, one, look at this hole. Five, one, two. Maybe I'll come up here. Okay. And that was a dash with Yulia. So I will see if I get the survival back, which I do. Uh, couldn't you also end like right here? Well, would you would be here still be dashing? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I was like here some one two three four five. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So going with the lantern halberd, hitting on three plus. Mm, okay, just one. All right, Ferocious Spasm. Nice. Thank goodness. Okay, so. That's a wound. How many do we have left? Four. And that's including the basic? Yep. Uh, no, five total. Okay. More wounds needed. He's done quite a bit of healing. So, yeah, I was not in the zone of death. And then I'm going to surge and get it back. Two hits. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go with the throat first. That's a wound. And the restless back is a wound. And then I get to move two spaces away from the monster. That halberd's awesome. I'm gonna go here. Nice. Yeah, I'm really liking it. I think it's pretty fantastic. Okay. Um. So we got three more wounds left. And I could it. probably. Either that, or I could also bring Kroger in there with the scrap sword. It's up to you if you want to play it safe. Let's. Let's bring Kroger in, okay. and then I'm pretty sure I could coup de gras. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll have to spend a dash, which I think is fine. Yeah. Okay, that's six. And we're going to scrap sword, and that hits on a five, so a four and a three. Two hits. Freaking Kroger. So that is four. Yeah. Which is just enough because I've got three insanity and I've already got the light wound. Oh, man. So I'm going to be rolling on that table again. Yeah. Five. 
Danger Seizure. You thrash about wildly, dealing one damage to yourself and every adjacent survivor. Gain a random disorder and 1d5 insanity. So I did a damage to myself. To the body. Okay. And let's hope for something good. It's just a funny thing to hope for when you're looking at disorders, but yeah. it can happen. Um, so it turns directly away and then full move, so he'd just slide along. <gasps> oh! Immortal. You got the good one. Okay, when you're insane, you can avert all damage. Yeah. Okay. That's... Fine with that. Yeah. I hoped for something good and I got something good. Yeah. And then uh, did you roll for insanity? Uh, nope. Okay. Okay, three insanity back. Uh, so yeah. Okay, back to where I was. And then he, where do you want him to move? Up that way or down? Ooh, um, I don't think you could get to him either way, could you? Yeah. Have him come down here. Yep. So, okay. 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 All right. So he'll move up here and then take off. I don't think we. Oh, yeah. I guess you still have a move, or you still have an uh, yeah. act with the Vala, but. Yeah. You can't get to him. Yeah. Slow shuffler. Dude, I mean, just trying to get a good distribution here. I should do this. I could just cut it in half. Yeah. And then just slice it on in. Yeah. I don't want to be extra thorough. I, I, I do add that in after I do my, uh, you know, um, after I do my... And then, <laughs> but yeah, I do like that, you know, you've got the sleeves on all your cards, which, ladies and gentlemen, that's the only way to have Kingdom Death. Oh, know? Yeah. Is you gotta sleeve this stuff. You gotta find the special sleeves for the you know locations and settlement events. So you gotta eat the whole shebang. Yep. Um, the only thing I don't have sleeved is the gear. Yeah. Because when well, first of all, you have to buy the Kingdom Death sleeves or go with the company who specifically made them for this size. But I also you know I keep them in this book in the coin sleeves, mm -hmm. and if they're sleeved, they don't fit well at all. Yeah. Yeah, so that's 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 true. I'm okay not sleeving those. Okay. Um, so where do I need? Yeah, because he's just gonna take off. Hold on, where's he gonna land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, he's. Uh, we got to take into account a couple, a couple mm -hmm. other things. Oh. Yeah. Um. Because who's he going to target? And is anybody going to be in his yeah. deal? Um, okay, so... Nobody's in range, so he could possibly go for this. He could also possibly go for one of these two. Yeah, which he's not close enough to get to anybody. Nope. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's possible he could go here. Yeah. And then we've got two people. Yeah, which uh, Vala can still move. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think of this. And I've already dashed. Yeah. Um, but I, I might be able to dash on his turn because the yeah. survival resets. But he could be in trouble. Yeah. I can't, because, yeah, I can't um, encourage. Yeah. Like, uh, so that that's a good point. Yulia could encourage. Okay. But I, again, I just don't have a dash. But I should encourage anyway. Yeah. So I will do that. And not spend it. Okay. And then, okay. So, assuming he does kind of like a 
closest threat. Well, I mean, for that, wouldn't he also just... Yeah, because it's equal distance, you know, diagonals versus just going straight. And then it's, you know, it's equal distance. So, yeah, him just taking off that way, even if it's to graze. Yeah, and where was it again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could, uh, as long as you can get out of the way of yeah. this channel here. Yeah, which I can because I've still got my full turn. And we could have him go this way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think that over here um, would be a little, well, let's see. Yeah, I mean, over here is fine. One, two, three, four, five, it does, six, seven, he's eight. dying this turn. He'd be here. Okay. Uh, it'd be a little hard for your spear to get close. I think I could dash there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And if the even if this guy's in the way, I can still dash further away than he can reach. Yeah. Okay. One, two. I'll spend my action to dodge. Or uh, not dodge, um, block. I, I would get one away, because he's going to literally be right next to you. Ah. And then if other people are attacking and you're adjacent... Tactical. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <coughs> Monster controller over to Kroger. <coughs> and what do we got? Crush and devour. Closest threat in field of view in range. Nobody's in range. Closest survivor in range. Nobody. Graze. So. We can have him definitely move there because it's, it's still on the path. Um, so with Graze, um, do I have a, an opportunity to, oh, that's okay. I've got an opportunity to dash here. Okay, so he tried to Graze and failed. And then he's going to do Diabolical. This is the only person in his range. Yep. But since we've got an opportunity to dash here, I will do that. Bring me down to five. And I will go one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Perfect. Right there. Okay, boom, got it. Just need three wounds this round to take him out. Um, let's see. I should. That's good. Yeah, I should start with Q. Okay, Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm in range. Mm -hmm. So fives re-rolling. Okay. Come on. Yes. Excellent. One movement. Let's see. <laughs> Whatever the animal. Oh, he moved. He did move. When the monster starts its movement. Oh, we kind of. That's a lot to undo, though. It is a lot. Let's just say yeah. we forgot. It was our bad. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. So I got those. Um, Inner thigh first. Inner thigh. Five. Okay. A wound. And it gets a minus one speed token. Minus one speed or movement? Uh, I think movement. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Speed. Uh, movement. Movement. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm getting those. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. Minus one movement token. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay. Just need one more. Vala, go for glory. All right. Come on, Vala. I mean, you got the adventure sword, my goodness. So fours. Uh, two. Yep. Watch, it's a trap. Yeah. Nope. 
Thank goodness, dude. Okay. Reflex monster turns to face the attacker. I don't care. Who cares? Crit that thing, man. Yeah. Be a great way to go out. Let's see. Which one has the resource if you crit? They both have a okay. resource. Come on. Oh, dude, that's sweet. Oh, man. Okay. What a way to go out. Yep. Gaining a resource. Boom. Beast stick. Oh, Not sweet. going hungry, boys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We did it. We did it. All right, so... This guy did a lot of healing. Huh? Or this guy did a lot of healing. What? Uh, I think we only healed, what, three, though? It was like it was like like three or four, which is I mean that's a lot because he's got what is it twelve wounds fifteen fifteen oh yeah yeah sixteen total to take him out yeah so okay so we all get two hunt XP one weapon proficiency Okay. Okay. And we get six basic and seven screaming antelope resources. Okay. All snagger basics. You said seven? Yep. Okay. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Good spread. Uh, when you gain this, the survivor of your choice gains plus one sanity. Kroger? Yeah. All right. Love it. And our six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the love juice. We will be sitting on three love juice this year. This yeah, we will. Got, we got another one. Yeah, uh, we. Yeah, and then we can spend an endeavor. Um, let's see. So we got four returning survivors. Vala and Kier are both tinkerers. Oh my gosh, so that's two. We've got one for cooking, two for our population, and I think that's it. Nice. Okay. Sweet. And it'll be uh, the lights. Yeah, we've got the, the lights going on. So I'll pull that out. Lights in the sky. And then we're going to pull clinging mists and restart this whole everything yeah <laughs> let's do it man oh my i'm gosh. feeling it that'd be crazy to actually pull it and not get the roll but we've got tons of re-rolls right because we're in the settlement uh i think we've actually used quite a bit of the re-rolls well yes that's oh, like i think we've still got some but but yeah. i think it's enough that we could get it We'd have a solid chance. Okay, well, let's do this in order just to make sure. Okay, so we return, we can heal up our wounds. I only had one wound to the brain on Kroger. All right, gain endeavor is done, update timeline. So, marking off lantern year 15. And let's go ahead and draw our random. Is that a clean mist? Let's see. Nope. Rivalry. No. For real? Yeah. Isn't that about the worst that possible? Uh, let's see. 
Do we have to do it based on like hunt XP or anything like that? If there are less than two survivors, discard raw rivalry and draw a new event. Select two random returning survivors. They begin to argue and the screams rouse the settlement. Oh no, dude. No. All right, well, let's play it out. So we have to choose two randoms? Uh, yeah. Okay. So how about Yulia and Kroger are one, two, three, four, and Vala, five, six, Kier, seven, eight. Okay. So number one is nobody. One, so Yulia. Okay. And our second is, uh, let's see, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, Kier. Okay. So the two, uh, so yeah, we got to roll now. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Yulia. And we both have to roll or we're just rolling once here? We just roll once. Okay. What do we want? Um, a nine see. or a 10? Yeah, okay. So we want a one, oh gosh, well, I want Kier to depart. Um, yeah, we want a nine or a 10. Okay. Um, a four through eight is we have to put this back on next year. Oh, really? Yeah. But but no ill effects to? Um, okay, so one through three, the two uh, rivals beat each other up. Neither, neither may depart this phase. Four through eight, two rivals immediately come to blows. Randomly choose one of the two rivals to suffer a gaping chest wound severe injury. Add rivalry to next to the timeline next year. <sighs> Lingering effects. Um, we can spend two endeavors to duel. One or a two. The two rivals tear at each other like wild animals. Both nomina nominated survivors are dead. Remove rivalry from the timeline. Um, three through seven. Roll 1d10 for each rival. The one who rolls higher is the winner. The winner gains plus one permanent strength, and the loser is dead. Remove rivalry from the timeline. <sighs> 8 through 10. After hours of fighting, with no one taking the upper hand, the two rivals develop a grudging respect for each other. The settlement gains the partnership innovation. If neither survivor has the partner skill, both gain it, naming each other as partners. Remove rivalry from the timeline. <sighs> okay. Um... So an eight, a nine or a ten on this roll would be great, right? Yeah, a one or a th one through three would be okay. Okay. The uh, only th four through eight does rivalry come back? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, come on, dude. No. Oh. <laughs> so. So somebody has to get a gaping chest wound, and then it comes back, and then this comes back. Is this something we were really... <sighs> I mean, we've got a 50-50 chance to get something else. Let's look at how many people we have rerolls. So we just got a new survivor. Okay, so number of rerolls left. We've got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so real quick, we, got we do have lights in the sky. Yeah. That adds two to Endeavor rolls. It does. So this would, um, we've got a 50, it, it'd be a six through ten. We would gain the partner, partnership innovation. Which I don't feel like that was something yeah. I even cared for all that much. Oh, it's not there. Partnership. Nominate two survivors. They pair off and each gains the partner ability. A survivor may be nominated for partnership once per lifetime. Anyway, they would both gain partnership anyway, right? Yeah. So partner. When you both arrive, gain survival up to the survival limit. 
I guess that's cool. Yeah. Partners may only nominate each other for intimacy, which Yulia's, uh, they are a male and female, but yeah. does yours have destroyed genitals? No. Okay. I guess that would be okay. When a partner dies, the remaining partner gains a random disorder and loses this ability. That's what I don't like about it. So we should just burn a reroll and try and or burn rerolls then, because this is gonna cut. That would cost two of our endeavors, which yeah. we've got a lot of endeavors. But let's burn a reroll on this. Yeah. You want to roll? Sure. Well, who are we gonna have reroll? Um, least desirable. Well, okay. So of the people that we have alive still, um, Forex. Did he burn his reroll? I don't think so. Forex is not. Uh, Falcara has. Okay, so that's a possibility. Is Forex have any major issues? He is. He is blind, but he also okay. has a ton of courage and a pretty good amount of uh, understanding. Okay, so let's keep that. Bellswagger? Did Bellswagger die? Let's see. I sort of feel like it. I think so. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, he did. Okay. Actually, I think that takes our death count to one, one different. 23 instead of 24. Um, okay, Yulia hasn't spent hers, or has she? I feel like she has. Yep, she has. Kroger has spent it. Um, okay, so then in that case, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unnamed. Okay. So let's just yeah. pick one. All right. Minus. Reroll. Nine. Two, revival, two rivals each gain one survival and one understanding. Oh. Is this the partnership one? And no, it's not. No, no. Okay. Um, and I would want to do Kier and Bala as partners anyways. <laughs> I brought them both into this world. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so I just triggered uh, Insight. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, I think you get Tinker. Um, is that correct? Settlement phase Tinker. Yes, indeed. Okay, <coughs> so here we go on the roll. Damn. Whoa! Permanent strength. Oh. Sweet. Solid. Yeah. Okay. So rivalry's done and out of here. Get that out of here. Which is awesome. We got lights in the sky. Okay, so now we get into our uh, develop. Okay, so real quick. Sure. Uh, so we should probably do this. Well, I mean, what are we gonna fight next year? Yeah, that's what I'm not sure about. Um, oh, I almost forgot. We mm -hmm. killed the antelope. Oh yeah, barber surgeon. With pottery, so yep, we get the barber surgeon indeed. Right there, man. Very nice. Okay. So we got that, which also gives us trepanning. An auger gingerly applied to the skull of the survivor is used to drill through the bone in the dangerous pursuit of remedies by releasing blood built up in the brain. So one through two would be bad. Three through six, cure one disorder. And what just blows my mind is a one or a two, you don't die. Yeah, just intracranial hemorrhage. Which, which it can great. cure. 
And it can also cure it. And then expanded consciousness. Gain one random disorder and one random fighting art. Uh, you'd want to really be sticking through the three through nine on that one. Yeah. Interesting. Um, which we get plus two. I love lights in the sky. Lights um, in the sky is good. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. We have a lot of decisions to make here. Yeah. Could you get our locations? Yeah. Okay. No, no. Oh, our locations or these? Well, I mean, those two. Okay. Yeah, we'll figure out. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Um, scrap scavenge. We probably not going to do anything with the Skinnery. I think that Nightmare Training with Cure is a priority. Oh, yes. Let's see. Deadly to ignore Cumbersome. Yeah. Wow. So you get the rerolls and you get Deadly to. Okay. So I've looked through and. Um, it feels like we might, like we could potentially do these things. Um, shared experience, you know, well, probably not. Um, let's see, augury. Let's see, and we get a plus three to that. So on a five, we would trigger intimacy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, weapon crafter for scrap scavenge. Um, yeah, and I gotta would... consider building a blacksmith too. Yeah, yeah, because I would love. I mean, let's see. Oh yeah, you just need one more, man. On eight, nightmare training. Spin three survival. You've got eight. I I, I could do that. Um, stone circle harvest ritual. Spend any number of monster resources to draw an equal number of basic resources. That's always a cool one. Um, so it feels like th these are the ones we could potentially do something with. Um, those are these. Uh, those right there. Okay. And then these are. Yeah. Um, okay. We want to do uh, nightmare training first. I think so. Okay. If we could get that for you, it'd be really awesome. Yeah. Spend three survival and one of these things. So what do you need? Eight or a nine? Um, or a eight, nine or ten. Six or a or, seven. Oh yeah. Because we have lights in the sky. Yeah. Oh my gosh. First try, buddy. And then it's I may, right? Yeah. Oh. Six. Okay. Gain one proficiency level. We have a master in the house. Oh man. That's cool. That's really, really good. Yeah. Now any survivor can use a bow with specialization. Deadly two. Deadly two is um, two luck, right? I, I believe that's two luck. Yeah. Um. Man, because that would be let's see, that'd be critting on so nines and then eights. I could bring the. Uh, the blue, the the charm. Yep. Be creating on sevens. Yep. That's hilarious. Wow, man. And ignore cumbersome. Okay, and how do we get you courage again? That's oh, on and then um we this add this one. right. Yeah, it's like yeah, it's an innovation. Comes as an innovation. Okay. Which is specialization, really. So courage, um, that would be the scrap scavenge at the weapon yeah. crafter. So you, since we've got lights in the sky, on an 8, 9, or 10, yeah. you would get a courage. Yep. Oh, we need to innovate real quick. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, 100%. Um, so just a basic hide. And then... A basic bone. And a bladder. Yeah. Or a beef steak. Yeah, be stage. Sure. 
Okay. At this point, I don't even remember what would be um, awesome. Scarification is what you wanted? Scarification would just be an auto trigger. Okay. Like, it's just we spend and we get it, and then we just don't worry about it. There you go. Scarification. <laughs> Family. Sacrifice. Bed. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, just... Oh, it's only once per lifetime. Yeah. Okay. Bed would give us a survival limit. Oh, man, we'd have 10 survival. I know. Sacrifice. Um... Man, we got so many people here. <laughs> What does sacrifice do? Death ritual. 1d10. 1. Pointless deaths. Minus 2 population. Um, 2 through 3. Screamer. Minus 1 population. Departing survivors gain plus 1 insanity. Grim accept uh, 4 through 5. Grim acceptance. Minus 1 population. Departing survivors gain plus 3 insanity. 6 up. 1 population. You lose all your insanity and you may remove one of your disorders. Um, if you could not depart the settlement phrase, you may do so, even if you are retired. Mm. Okay. Family. No. Departing survivors gain plus one survival. Survivors nominated uh, for intimacy may give themselves a surname if they do not have one. A newborn survivor inherits the surname of one of their parents, their weapon type, and half rounded down of their weapon proficiency levels. So. Not bad. Yeah. You know. It's all right. Yeah. Um, and then bed. I'm... I'm liking scarification. That's definitely a possibility. The thing to consider, though, especially that we have lights in the sky and a good stack of these, is that we could potentially get a lot of broken lantern resources and still have a good chance of getting you a plus one courage. Yeah, that's true. So, the guarantee or the uh, probably? <laughs> <laughs> the probably. Man. Because I'm, I'm not going to lie. If I don't get the courage, this... Because, okay, it's very important that we get the courage now because then we can guarantee that it's the thing that we want. Yeah, it's true. Well, the thing that I want. <laughs> it's just like, that's like a one-time use yeah. It's, you know, per per character. Per character, But yeah. I can't see any of the other characters using it at this point. At least mine, I wouldn't. Yeah. Whereas, like, Bed or the other one, a Departing Survival or a... Yeah. Is, is, good. is solid. There is the chance, though, that we couldn't get you your courage, though, so... Yeah. What are you thinking? We should have waited. We should have waited. <laughs> to see if we got this before we did our uh, innovation. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not totally on the fence, man. Having a lot of survival is really good. Yeah. I mean, we have a crap ton. And we don't really use, like... I got down to five. Yeah. But, I mean... That wasn't even half. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play my... You want to go with Scarification? I'm going to go with Scarification. Okay. Just, a, like, it's that important to me. Okay, yeah, do it. And then... There's no... Yeah, okay. So... And then you're going to do this. Right now, right? Um, do you... So, do we want... Because I could roll on this and I'd be okay. Like, mm -hmm. I would just get the thing and then we could do other things. But do we want to do that? The primary reason we'd be doing it is for the courage. Yeah. I mean, the scrap is also... Because we can also get scrap smelting. Yep. The other thing is, is that if you get it from that... Mm -hmm. And we do this, and we end up 
getting a courage, I could give it to one of these low bees who doesn't have three yet. That you don't want to risk with Scarf. Yeah. Okay. Do we want... So how bad is the risk? It's a one in six chance and then a 50% chance. Just go for it, man. Okay. Just do it. You're the one who chose that, so you got to yeah. deal with it. Yeah. Why are you... Head. Blind. Okay. I get blinded anyway. Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, so you baby. So you got... See, See the, the truth. truth. It would have been so nice to get luck. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. So we have... You're going to do the taste death roll. By the way, okay, I'll just read it. The greatest courage is achieved when the past and future are abandoned. The void that remains is a dark, endless well of strength. Fear and pain are your nourishment, and you will feast. You suddenly recall meeting a stranger mask, a strange masked man who, for a moment, opened your second eyelids. What you saw filled your mouth with the taste of your own death. Suffer the blind, severe head injury, and taste death. If you are already blind, do not suffer it again. Okay, so you're going to roll. Since we have graves, mm -hmm. a 1, 2, 3, and 4 will give you this sweet battle. Which allows you to spend a surge without spending a survival. Which is pretty amazing. So that's what we're hoping for. One, two, three, or four. Yep. Oh! Oh, oh man! Woo! Yes! Woo! High five coming in, dude. Yes! Oh, goodness. Okay, sweet battle, man. When your second eyelids opened, the veil of darkness was lifted. Do you recall looking... To the sky and viewing a horizon of titanic faces. Each face is different and peers at a different part of your body. Death was upon you. And a strangely sweet flavor swirled around in your mouth. Gain the weak spot disorder and the following ability. Sweet battle. So yeah, he can now surge without spending a survival. You must do it to activate a weapon though. Head. I want to keep my head protected. There you go. Yeah, so the weak spot just means that you have to depart with a piece of armor and you roll that location and so he has to has, have something on his head. That's it. Like, not, not even a big deal. Okay. Well, this is working. And now your courage is at nine? nine. So well, nine strength. I'm at 12 strength. That's with a, three attacks, and I get a free surge every single time. Oh, that's unbelievable. What I will probably do in most circumstances is block and then free surge. And mm. just be like, oh, yeah. 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 It's like, I am free. And then the cool thing is, is if I then get hit, I just blocked. Yeah. You know. Totally. Because I can't dodge. Um... Yeah. Oh, man. This is exciting. Okay. Let's see. What else are we going to be doing? Yeah, I, I definitely think Scrap Scavenge. Um, that'll be nice. And then she only had two. Which, I mean, yeah, there's a good chance that we won't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. The survival deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was, that was huge, man. Yeah. Huge. So you're going to try and proc... Uh... Maybe... Okay. Do we have enough to build the blacksmith? That's... We need six bone, three scrap? Probably. Pretty sure we do. Okay, so we've got five uh, broken lanterns for scrap already. That makes... Six. Excuse me. That makes six. Okay. Um, so we can do that and then three bone. Okay. Sorry, six bone. Two bone right here. Um, large flat tooth. Three. We could use it, but remember. Yeah. The, the dark dentist. Um, we've got one, two, we have only two in here. Um, so one, we two, can three, harvest ritual. Five. That's not a bad idea. Um, hmm. Should we do that? Why not? 
so in that case, like we we give up this and this. I would almost want to keep the screaming brain just because archive this and gain survival up to the current limit. Okay, like that's cool. Um, so we'd have five here. Okay. We can also archive whatever. Like oh, that's true. So it's any number, right? Yeah, it's just any number. You know, we spend uh, endeavor, get any number. Um, Okay, so um, yeah, we have a number of phoenix things. We've got four more screaming antelope pelt. Um, just depends on like the phoenix. Like the, if, if we want to go after the phoenix I, again and try to build that bow, I would honestly say phoenix next. Yeah, yeah pretty cool. So to build the arc bow, we need a phoenix whisker, a wish bow. A wishbone and a scrap. So we have the whisker. Okay. We just needed a, wi a wishbone. Okay. So yeah. let's keep the whisker for sure. The hollow wing bones. What are those? They can build us a hollow sword. But I think that might be breakable. Um, can build the sonic tomahawk. Hollow point arrow. Maybe let's hold on to that. Okay, yeah. Black skull. What can the black skull do? I don't see black skull. So we could do that one. Oh, that actually counts as an iron, though. Oh. So maybe we don't want to do that one. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, we've got four pelt to work okay. with if we want to. I mean, in this. Oh, yeah. So we'd have 10. 10. I mean, and we've got two bone here. So we'd be looking for. Yeah, I mean, why not? Because there's four more bones. Like, we're not going to. Yeah, I, like, is there anything from the antelope that we want to build? <sighs> I mean, some people say that. The antelope set is underrated, right. but I just don't know. I mean, some of these charms can give affinities, yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a item that gives an affinity. So yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What's a blood paint? What does that do? Oh, blood paint can be pretty freaking sweet. Because that's easy to build. You can put a weapon on both sides of it, and when you use your activation, you'll activate both. It just takes up a spot. A spot, and you'll need a second weapon for it. Although Poots did say that you could put it like kind of in the corner or something like that and activate a weapon and your fist and tooth. But That's okay. at this point in the game, yeah. I just don't, I don't know that that's what we'd want because of all the other utility that we're getting from, yeah, the other pieces of gear like yeah. shields and dreadacanthus and stuff. Yeah, so I would be okay. Okay, do the ten. Yeah, I'd be okay doing the ten. All right, let's do the ten. And who knows? Maybe we... is there only one left juice? Two, I think there's two. Four, five, six. Yeah, we've got another one. Yeah. Well, uh, no. Uh, is there a second one? Oh. Juice in the deck? Um. Yes. Okay. Yep. There's two total. All right. So we'll shuffle these up, and I need to erase those four. Okay. So we're looking for four bone, which actually might not happen. But all right, so one, oh, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. So um, I say keep the skull, keep large flat tooth because those could. Oh, 
You gave me a survivor of your Thanks choice. Me. All right. Give it to him. Oh, I want the immortal. immortal for sure. Yeah. That's what we also need to do. We, I mean, we've got a lot. Um, I think maybe we should probably boost our population. You know. Yeah. Get more rerolls. Yeah. Per each. So you have four, five, six. Yeah. Or should we? Did you say keep the skull? Keep the skull over that. I'd say. Okay. Because of potential. Um, potential for getting rid of broken jaws okay because i mean i mean that's not huge most of the time but when we got to stand our people up you know we got to stand our people up yeah okay <clears throat> so we're doing that we're doing three scraps so this one plus two, more. two from our inventory brings us down to three total in the inventory here and costs one and we've got it man Nice. Got our blacksmith. Okay. That opens up a lot of new possibilities of stuff that's pretty decent. Two shields we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Man. Lantern glaive. That sounds cool. Sword. Yeah, we'll have to take a closer look at sort of what that stuff is. Yeah. Um, and yeah, all this takes a lot of iron. And I think this is one of the better ways to do that. Yeah. You got to spend the scrap though, so we got to be getting scrap, which actually makes me wonder if we should try to mm -hmm. go for the uh, the pickaxe. Yeah, to be able to. Harvest that. Yeah. But that was also pretty tricky and kind of dangerous to yeah. go after it. Um, so the mineral gathering here. So the, the every survivor with a pickaxe rolls on the mineral mineral gathering gather ring. So one through three is not great. You get hemophobia. Um this is not so bad. You suffer two event damage to a hit location, but as long as we got some good gear, you get a broken lantern. Um, six through seven, you get an iron. And on a six plus, oh, your pickaxe is gone. And then eight plus, that's when you get a scrap. Has to occur after overwhelming darkness. And then you can go into the worm tunnels. Here's where you want to have the sickle. To add plus two. So. And a whip. Yeah, then you want a whip, and then you want an almanac, which we can get an almanac now. If we had pictograph, which I don't think we have. So. Yeah, it kind of gets uh, kind of gets risky. Yeah. So. You know, I don't know. Like, is that a focus we want to make to try to get somebody? Ironed out in the... Oh, dude, I would love to have a full seat of iron uh, or of lantern armor. The only sucky thing is on the hunt, like, oh, oh. you've got the heavy gear? See ya. Yeah. Um, See you in hell. I know, it just gets, it gets awful. Yeah. So, uh, do we want to do that or not? I think maybe we go for the setup of like, okay... And make a bunch of pickaxes. Well, no, because I think pickaxes require bone, and we just got wiped out on bone. That is also true. Yeah. And if we're going to go against the Phoenix next here, mm -hmm. we kind of probably want to be geared out fairly well. Yeah. And do we go against the level two Phoenix? No. Uh, I, I, I'm not feeling a level two Phoenix. Like I don't have a. I don't feel like I've got enough. Uh, yeah. I don't know though. I mean, if you think about it, from from when we fought him last time, we've now got way beefier weapons, significantly more survival yeah. to deal with. We've got dried acanthus. Yeah. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. You know, I don't know. What do we get if we go up against him? We get five basic and seven phoenix, which of course 
increases our chance to That's... get the uh, get the bow built. Yeah. And actually, the bow. What was I feel like with Kier, Now that you ignore cumbersome, doesn't that make that bow? Well, you, all bows just become so much really better. amazing. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, cumbersome. Slow range six. Okay. Man, it's got nine strength on that sucker though. That's. You know. Okay. Only only one speed. But still, and you can potentially boost the if you get the right. Uh, mm -hmm. That's a red, a green, and a blue. A uh, red, red and green puzzle, and then just any blue. Okay. You've got a total of eight range on that thing. Plus, get up on that stone face. You're looking at ten. Okay. It's almost like just a guaranteed hit and wound. Well, maybe not guaranteed hit, but you got six, six hack instead it, of seven. Yeah, plus three rolls. And yeah. deadly. Yeah, deadly too. Oh my goodness! Like the temptation to put the little charm on there, the lucky charm. Yeah. Um. So that yeah, again, that's making me crit on sevens. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Um. Let's see. I also want to try for some population because we would have, yeah, we would have four love juice. Let's see, one, two, four? How four? Uh, if we spend an endeavor and pop. Oh, you're right. Um, that wouldn't be a bad, like if, if we're going to do it, now's the time. Yeah. I think because... Well, the lights in the sky doesn't count towards intimacy because it's not an endeavor. But it does help us on face painting. Yes, it does. Let's do that. Let's set ourselves up with that. We've got more people to work with. We've got more re-rolls. Yeah. And then let's go after that phoenix. Try to get that sweet bow. Yeah. I like that idea. Let's see. Um, okay. So, so what do we got to do to do that? That's what it. So to get a to get another. Oh, that's juice. right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. And then. So we've got a total of four. Yeah, we have we have four. Um. Face painting. Okay, so we want to do that twice. Yeah. At least. Okay, so let's do it once, see what happens. Just need a four plus. <sighs> okay, oh, well, so we I got mean, plus one. We need a two plus. Oh, that's right, <laughs> nice. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, okay, we got it. And then We could do it one more time to be 100% absolutely completely safe. Oh, shrine. Yeah. Let's do shrine, dude. We want that extra armor. Yeah. All well, there's also on a four up, one person could get three armor. But I think that yeah, yeah good spread. Plus two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we're all gonna get an extra armor. We've got plus two on intimacy, and we got four love juice to work with. Yeah. So. Go have some kids. All right, so we've got um, minus strength, minus reroll, male, Snuggly. and my, <laughs> minus reroll, female. Sure. Okay. Um, so we got to roll two and pick the lowest. We just don't want a one, right? Yeah. So four plus two, six. Oh, that's right. Yes. 
Okay, so um, that's just plus one population. All right. This is one. It's up to 24. 10. Oh, my. Um, so we don't have... Well, we do have hobble, right? Yeah, we just don't have beds, I believe. Well, that's a uh, birth of a savior. Oh, crap. <laughs> Saviors complicate things. <laughs> it kind of does. Birth of a savior. What did we pick last time? I don't even remember. It is the beast. So. Oh, man. So green is the evasion. Yeah. Should we go after an evasion one this time? Sure. Okay. Let's just get one of each. So we've got uh, crown. Okay, so that brings us up to 25. Uh, six. Okay, plus one. 26. Uh, ten. Another savior? <laughs> okay. So, a lantern? Yeah. That's weird. That's super weird. Now, just to make sure, does something happen to the parents if that... Uh, no. It's just a savior. Okay, so we're up to 27 population. Nice. And we have three saviors in the bag. Weird. Yeah. Okay, we used up all of our love juice. So that all goes away. Okay. <sighs> um, let's see. How many... Trying to figure out how many draw to camp this. Uh, I'm gonna want one. Yeah, let's build at least two more. Yeah. 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 Okay. Two more. I would say everyone should have one. Okay. So we got one here, one here. Yeah. If we build two more, then everybody yeah. can have one. Everybody can have one. Yeah. Which I mean, yeah. I guess you. Yeah, you have an option with the. Uh, uh, with the scrap sword like okay so he's at so that's eights to hit now because he's got one level correct uh, well he's gonna be PTSDing. So. yeah he won't be able to come out this yeah this time um <clears throat> so yeah okay yeah yep and do we want to do anything else in the meantime? Give me a monster grease. You want a monster grease, okay. I want a monster grease. Which, do oh, we I've have one in that stack? We've got one okay. over here. Okay. And then we've got a dried acanthus. Perfect. So we have, we built one more, but do I have the cards for it? I think there's probably only Enough cards for three. For three? Okay. Let's have uh, to remember that we have another one. Okay. Um, so we already have one of those. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else that we want to craft? Um, oh, let's like take a look at the barber surgeon. Okay. So, what's a brain mint? Brain mint is if you can consume it, remove all your tokens, and stand up. You may use this while knocked down, use once per showdown. Okay. Wait, do you have a screaming brain? I. 
just takes up a slot. I mean, yeah. he's got a couple of uh, affinity possibilities, but yeah. that's an interesting one that might only work sometimes. Yeah. Um, Almanac prevents you from gaining disorders. Scavenger Kit. When you defeat a monster, gain either one random basic resource or one random monster resource from that monster's deck. We used all the pelts. Oh, okay. Um, First aid kit. What does that do? On arrival, all survivors gain three survival. For a, an activation, remove one bleeding or negative attribute token from yourself or an adjacent... Oh, that even does negative attribute tokens. That's pretty good. I mean, that's a million times better than bandages. Yeah. Because all survivors gain three survival. Yeah. Like, whoa. What does it cost to build that? A leather and two bones. Oh, we can't build any leather. Yeah. Okay, so we can't do it now. But that would be nice. I think we should get one of those. I mean, look at all the affinities, too. Yeah. Um... Ooh. You know, mm -hmm. what's interesting? Well, okay, a slow weapon, if you get a speed token, you still can't use the extra speed, right? Because it's slow. Yeah. Um, okay. There are a couple of things that counteract slow. Yeah. Um, I, like, I think... Like frenzy? frenzy? Yeah. You ignore slow. Um, that... Speed powder could be interesting on Kier. Ooh, what does that do? Um, suffer two brain damage, gain one speed token. Use once per showdown. So you could be shooting more. Ooh. So that could be interesting. It also has a blue affinity on the right, which yeah. actually you probably don't need because you've got the Clyde arrow. Yeah. But what does it cost for the speed powder? A second heart. Two organs, okay. We don't have that. So we can't even build that anyway. Okay. okay. Um, mm. The musk bomb is certainly interesting, but it's seven resources. Yeah. What does the musk bomb do again? If adjacent to the monster when it draws AI, you may spend two survival and archive musk bomb to roll 1d10 on a 3 plus discard AI without playing it. That's okay. But it's only for one AI. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, when you've got to stop something. Yeah. And I'm kind of not seeing anything in particular that's just screaming out. Yeah. Like, there's some cool stuff, um, certainly. But, yeah. I also don't like that Kier only has one insanity. Hmm. Yeah, I hear you. Did the Phoenix give brain damage? I... Probably. I don't remember. No. I know that um, to stop the aging, um, you know, to get rid of your age tokens, you gotta roll, and if you roll below your insanity, you remove it. Which, you know, means nothing for my characters. Right. I just... Honestly, if I got hit with aging, I'd be like, oh yeah, do it. Please. Give me those extra... Yeah, let's see, because if I got... One, two, three, four, five. Like, I could, you know, I could get here the next two age things. Um, yeah. And actually, you got a decent chance of uh, getting luck with that last age. That would be, ooh, man, that would be great for Kier. For real. Dude, critting on, I could make that six. Kier plus a luck would be a six up. That's nuts. 50% of the time, all the time. And if you had that speed, just, that'd be some really interesting things happening there. Yeah. Okay, so do you want to buy anything? Not. Or no. craft, I should say. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. Okay, yeah, I don't think I am either. Um... 
Do we want to take the harp? I'm scared to take the harp. I don't think we need the harp. Yeah, everything takes leather here anyway. So. The dragon slayer. What is that again? Oh. I can take the lucky charm because it just requires two blue affinities and I already have a blue. It doesn't require puzzle pieces. It just requires affinities. So there and here. Oh, okay. So that makes it sevens? That makes it, yeah, sevens. Wow. That's cool. So deadly two, nine, eight, seven. Yeah. Okay. So we're done. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to write this down. Scarification we took. And all right, let's conclude it there. We're almost at two and a half hours. Oh, and so we're going to archive all this stuff, get it into our inventory. I'm 95% certain we're going to go after the Phoenix. The yeah. biggest decision is level two or level one. So we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. Kroger is not going to be able to come along, unfortunately. But Yulia will, Vala, Kier, and we'll figure out somebody else. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll call it there. But I'd say it was a, a definite successful lantern year here. Yeah, that was great. A lot of good things happening. And Surge without spending survival. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So. Which, it's hilarious because um, with Vala, uh, she's all, she also has double dash. So she can... Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. She is just set up. You're, you're going to be devastated if you lose her. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> will you ever play Kingdom Death again if you lose her in some stupid way? Some stupid way? Like, you know, go, okay, yeah, I'm going to loot this, you know, little bug patch. It's like, oh, this thing eats my face. Yeah. Dead. Or, yeah, random hunt event. Someone dies. Yeah. <sighs> Could totally happen. Yeah, which I hope prepared, you know, add hunting speed when rolling to, to determine if you're... That's good for you, yeah. Both here and... They're both prepared. They're That's both. good. Dude, if we both get to a... You know, if we all have Angel's characters and it's like... Who's yeah, gonna... I know who's going to be the one. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Well, that was episode 15, so we'll see you on the next one, hopefully. Oh, Thanks yeah. for watching, everybody.